So I will be reviewing Raquel Welsh's Heard It All from her signature collection in the color Iced Grenada. This is a beautiful color and I'm anxious to show her to you. My purpose is to help you save time, save money in your search for your perfect silver gray white wig or alternative hair piece right here on Silver Linings. So what do I have on my head now? Well, it's the Tony Bratton Straight Headband Fall. Of course, I live in this thing. I love it. I had another early appointment today, so I slipped her on my head, and she just goes on just like that and comes off just like that. <laughs> you just slip her on. This is all you do. Boom. Put her on. Adjust your hair how you want it. And you're out the door. <laughs> so, Heard It All by Raquel Welsh has some beautiful, beautiful high-end features. Now, I have worn Heard It All already. And I did a review for Heard It All over on... Um, Wig Studio One, but I thought I would do another one here on my own channel. As I said, she's from the Signature Collection, Raquel Welsh, and she has some absolutely beautiful coloring. That very realistic dark at the nape that we get when we first start to go gray, and then that gorgeous white at the front. So before I slip her on, let me show you her cap. She's a very special cap. She has, well the obvious thing is she has the open wefting for coolness, for comfort, especially since she's a short wig. You'd probably want to wear her in the summer months. She has the Velcro adjuster so you can adjust her up or down oh, by about a half inch. She has the extended nape covered with felt. Very nice, very comfortable. She has a gorgeous mono part with extended lace front all the way from ear to ear. She has feeling for permatease. Now I don't feel permatease. The specifications don't say anything about permatease and she has about an inch with that mono part so that you can play a little bit with the part wherever you want it. And she has the wonderful memory cap Three. So she's got some stretch to her, which I appreciate, and the cap size is average. I'll let you know when I slip her on my head um, if she feels tight on me, because I am average to large, not average to petite. So, But if I remember correctly, she fit pretty well true to average. I know I'm having some issues with my camera. I have a new studio set up today, so it's going to take me a while to get things adjusted, but I'll do the best I can. I think I'll take that autofocus off. Okay. She has the that wonderful true-to-life fiber. It feels, it looks just like real hair, and it feels very realistic. I think, again, I just, I can't get over the coloring in this wig. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let me slip her on for you, and then we'll talk a little bit more. Okay, now I've changed my glasses just so that they're not fighting the, uh, the wig, and honestly, I don't know what's going on with my video production today. I apologize for that. I'm hoping that you can get at least enough of an idea here with this wig. Um, I did want to get this out to you today. Let me take these glasses off. I think that they're just bouncing off the, the camera. Um, so she, I, I just am in love with the color. 
I think she is absolutely gorgeous. She's She's got a lot of white right up here. And if I hold my hands here, uh, it's kind of blocking the light a little bit. So maybe you can get a better idea of really truly how she's not snow white. She is a, just a beautiful shade of a grayish white, the kind of white that you really would look for if you're a silver gray white wig lover. So I'm just going to kind of keep my hands here. If I turn off any lights, you won't be able to see me. Again, I apologize. I'm working in a new studio today, so we'll figure it out. Um, but let me just do a spin for you. Make sure you pull all the hair forward if you purchase this wig. Look how sleek she is in the back. She's quite sleek. Beautiful for summer. Just beautiful. Even a wedding, if you wanted to have big earrings, big hoops, or something like that. I think she's just, just gorgeous. And her fibers are just really, I mean... And then she's got the monofilament cap, so you're gonna it it has the illusion of looking right down into a scalp. I want to give you a close up look at the hairline on her at all. The lace front is absolutely beautiful, do, beautifully done. As I said, ear to ear, and I'll show you a close up right now. Look at that. I mean, you really cannot tell. There's my widow's peak right there, and I've got my hand right on the lace front. And you cannot tell. Cannot tell where it starts. There's the edge of the lace front right there. Right there. On the right side and on the left side. Again, beautifully done. And there's a bit of a close-up on the color for you as well. Again, my apologies for the the uh, video in this review. New studio setup. A little bit of a uh, transition time here. But I love, I just love, love the color. One thing I wanted to add, I almost forgot, but I really wanted to tell you that Hurt It All is truly a take her out of the box, plop her on your head. Arrange her with your fingers and go. Just remember, if you've got long hair, make sure it's all picked up in the back and uh, pull out those, those tiny little hairs that are at the bottom of the wig and push them forward. So you could have it, you know, just kind of pull those, pull those fibers forward. This is not going to be a long video today. I, ju I basically just wanted to jump on here. I had a, a, a busier day than usual, so I wanted to get a wig out to you so that you could see. I will drop a link below. I did, As I said, I did review this wig for Wig Studio One, and I think the lighting was quite a bit different. She, looked, she just looked so different in that, in that studio that I did, my upstairs studio. Um, but here, this lighting just shows off how absolutely white gray silver gray white wig heard it all truly is and as I said she is an average size cap she feels a little snug on my head I thought that she might and uh, so I would definitely have to use my trusty tried and true it stays right there at the at the uh, front of my hairline where the widow's peak is um, or else she would ride back on me I'm absolutely sure she's fine now as long as I don't move my head but as soon as I move my head she's gonna start to walk back because I do not wear a wig cap and I do not wear a hairnet under my wigs the only thing that I wear is it stays okay so that's basically it for now and um, let me just do one more thing. I'm going to show her with a hairband. I don't have any of my hair tools down here yet, but I'm going to show you with a hairband. So I thought that uh, Heard It All would look really nice with this square band. If you haven't heard of square bands yet, oh, you need to get yourself some of these. 
I'll drop a link below with a special code and I'll be making a video for square bands very shortly just to talk a little bit more about this very very special product but you know again as I've said many times and many other reviewers have said as well put a hairband on nobody's gonna ever guess you've got a wig on your head not that we really care but if you do care you I promise you'll get to the point where you won't care when you first start to wear wigs it's like oh no everybody's gonna know I have a wig on oh no, no who cares I don't care anymore <laughs> I just think they're fun and you can have short hair you could have long hair you could have medium length hair you could put your hair up it'll stay up it'll look perfect when you leave the house it'll look perfect when you come home and that is the beauty of the world of wigs so that's square bands, S-Q, hair, bands.com. I want to thank Wig Studio One for sending me Heard It All for review. She's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful wig, and I enjoy having her on my head. So thanks so much for watching. If you like, give it a like, hit the little bell icon, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And always remember, look for the silver linings, everyone. Bye-bye.